Hello everybody and welcome to Skip Allen Paints and the YouTube channel of Skip Allen. This video is the first video in a series of videos about my new uh, Skip's Best Thick Paint brushes. Um, and I'm going to make those available for you free. And I want to go over each one of the 15 brushes and tell you a little bit about how it works. But before we go there, I want to bring you, uh, show you something else. If you will go up to Help and then to Welcome, that's the Welcome window. And if you'll go to Get More and you look down the list, you'll find this new uh, papers right here called Dramatic Papers. And these are some papers that I made for Corel. And if we go and take a look at it, um, this image was done with pastels using the papers to create texture and uh, to give you an interesting uh, surface. This one is done with watercolor and some of the thick paint uh, brushes that I'm going to be giving out today. And this one is um, all thick paint. But the point is, uh, you might want to load these uh, 15 brushes, uh, not brushes, but um, papers. Uh, I think you might like them. Um, anyway, it, I wanted to bring your attention to it. Now, along with the uh, paper down, I mean, the uh, brush download, the brushes, I'm going to also set, give you uh, a script library, a paper script library. And uh, this Several of these scripts were done by David Jell, and he gave them to me to, to make them uh, so that I can make them available for you. Then one was done by me, and another one was done by my student. There are four in all, and I have each one of them placed on a custom palette here, and I want to show you what they do. All right, so if I open up my flow maps, you'll see that I'm, I'm sorry, this is my papers you'll see that this particular paper called Dirty Canvas, which is one of the new papers that I created, uh, has a scale of 250, a uh, contrast of 100, and a brightness factor of 80. That is not the default setting. The default setting of papers is always 100, 100, and then 50. So this first little uh, paper uh, script is called Reset Paper to Default. So if you click it, whatever paper is currently active will be reset to the default setting, in this case 100 by 100 by 50. Okay? Now, we've got this is our paper. The next one down is called Show Paper. And what that does is it, whatever size you have your paper set to, it uh, places the image on the canvas to let you get an idea of how the paper is going to fit. For instance, we've got this at the default setting, okay, the, the dirty canvas. And if I just click this button, uh, uh oh, I did something wrong here. Let's go back and we'll get rid of this. I've got a uh, thin wet paint bristle established, and so when, it, when I've been clicking, I added a layer to it. So let me go in and get, now um, I have the uh, layer adjuster tool selected, so I won't get that anymore. When you're using this script, uh, show paper, you have to have only a canvas uh, layer open. So we're going to click on the script and that's what dirty canvas looks like okay now this is at its default setting but if I get rid of the uh, paper and I come up here and I change the size of it to that 250 I had before and 100 and then 80 and I'm just going to sort of put it in the ballpark where we're close all right, now if I show paper, see, it shows it whatever size it is. So this is a, a nice tool that you can see 
how the paper is going to fit on your canvas. Um, so if I just go up and grab one of the other papers that I have that um, I created for this sale at Corel, let's pick, we'll just pick this uh, first one called Seated. And it's at its default setting. And we place it. And there you go. That's what Seated looks like. That's kind of pretty. <laughs> All right. That's uh, the way that paper works. Now let's go to the next step. Um, I'm going to take my uh, paint bucket and I'm going to select a color. We'll select this kind of warm gray right there and I'm going to fill the layer with that gray. Now I'm going to come down to the third uh, script which is called paper overlay and I'm going to click on paper overlay and there you go what it does is it puts the paper as a gel layer at about 80 percent as a new layer on the canvas now let's go let's uh, undo that come on undo everything Okay. All right. So we've got this uh, gray again. Now what I want to do is go to the uh, dirty canvas and we'll leave it at this setting. And I'm just going to simply click on paper overlay. And there you go. It creates the paper. The canvas is now clean. And what I would do is I would go in and I would lock this layer. If y'all keep hearing something bump the uh, microphone or something running around on the floor, it is two kittens that are in the room with me and they're having a lot of fun. Okay, so what this does is now if I start to paint with a brush that has the ability to show a lot of grain, um, let's pick a color then what it's going to do is it's going to show the, uh -oh. yeah, I'm on the right place. It's going to show that grain that's going to be matching the paper and matching that uh, image of the paper. So it's like you're, you're painting on real canvas or real paper. Okay, now the last one that is available is for flow maps. And so if I have a flow map, let's don't do that one. Let's do, let's do that one. Now flow maps, the default setting is 100 by 100 by 50. So if I mess this up, let's make it small. Looks like that. And I want to reset it to its default settings. I have the fourth script, which is called flow map reset and you click on it and whatever the current flow map is it will reset it to the um, correct setting now the last thing I want to tell you is to install this these four scripts you're going to get a script library and you want to go to window and then come down to scripts anytime window let me close this okay let's try that again go to window my computer's been running really slow and you want to go to uh, scripts and click on that and that will open up your scripts panel and then what you do is you go up to the option button and you click on it and you come down to import script library not import script but come down to import script library click on that and then wherever you save the scripts library the, you know you click on it and uh, it will automatically load it into painter now to use the script you would click on it and then click on playback 
But if you want to use it as a one step like I was doing, then what you want to do is simply drag, hold down your shift key and drag the icon out. And it puts it on a, a float uh, on a custom palette. And why that doesn't look like a custom palette, I don't know. I sometimes my uh, there we go. Sometimes my uh, video card doesn't refresh well enough. It's getting kind of old, long in the tooth, so it wasn't showing everything. But if you just drag the icon over, now you can click on the the script in the custom palette and it will run. You won't have to do the little playback and all of that. It does it automatically. All right, now I'll show you another trick. I'm going to drag this outside and that will delete that um, custom palette. Okay, so that's telling you everything so far about uh, what we're going to be doing. You, you know that there's some new papers you can buy, and I'm giving you a script library. So come back in the next video. We'll talk about the next little part. All right. See you then. Bye-bye.